Hello, this is uh, me loading a an Ensign Ranger 2 120 film camera for the 1950s or 60s I think. Um, I'm going to load it with some a uh, Ilford HP5 Plus 400 ISO roll film, 120 film. This came from um, Calame Photographic, which apparently are apparently very good. There we go. There's the packet. Anyway, this is the camera. Lovely leather case. Smells lovely. Smells really rustic and beautiful. Anyway, this is the camera. As you can see, big rewind and take up spool knobs here. Very, very well made. I'd say this was from the 1950s actually. There's your uh, viewfinder there flips up. Anyway, this is not a tour of the camera, this is a tour of the film being loaded. Um, let me just quickly show the front touch, I can't resist. Let me show the... there's a tab there. Press the button on the top here. Pull the tab. And out comes the lens. You push the back of these stays here and lock into place and that's the camera open really nice. Anyway, for the purpose of loading this film I'm going to shut the shut the front cover up, push the tab down. So this is the back. I'm going to do, I open it by pushing the slider here up. The back opens. A little, there's a little ruby window here which you want to, you see that that's open, you want to shut that otherwise the light can get in. That is where you view your shot counter. Um, the shot number, the, the frame number is, or the, or the photo number, or whatever you want to call it, is printed on the backing paper on the back of the film. So you want to align it, every time you take a photo you want to wind it so that number is centred in that little ruby window. And then once you've centred it, shut it again. So there's the camera. This is the first time I've done this. So bear with me. Here's the film. So unwrap that. Hoping to do it right. If not, it's only four pounds. I'll get another one. Don't want to have to. Do, don't want to have to get another one. There seems a bit pointless. So there, have our, there we have our film. Get the camera out of the shot. Our film, Alfred HP Five Plus. It says unexposed on it. You see. So what I have to do now is get the camera. I have to. Lift up this knob here on the right hand side of the camera, look at the back, put this roll inside there. Um, yeah, if I can figure out how to do it, he says. Okay, it's quite stiff. Ah, lift up further than that, that's right. Put the bottom in. Or is it the top? Is it the top first? I don't know. First time I've done it, like I said. There we go. That's in. Rotate that until it is that locked. What's going on here? Oh, that's it. That's in place. Right, so now the little tab here, the white tab, I need to pull that. Now that has basically unstuck the end of the roll. So, tear the label off, which is holding it down. Okay. On the left hand side, there's a, another reel which you want to uh, wind by hand with a knob, clockwise only. There'll be a fat, there's a, sorry, a wide slot here, and there's a narrow slot. I think you want to put it in the wide slot. So, pull the film across the focal plane. Oh no, I was wrong. Put it in the narrow slot, which is there. So, feed that into there. 
like that. And give it a little, <coughs> give it a turn or two. Pull this remaining bit of paper off. <coughs> Excuse me. Turn that until it tensions up. Right. Now we're getting ready to go. Now then, shut the back and open the ruby window shutter. So I want to keep winding this. Hopefully you can see this. If not, I'm going to put some more light on it so you can see it. There we go. Keep winding this until number one appears. And you'll see some dots and some symbols going past as you wind, which is pre-warning you that the first shot's about to come up. Okay, that's a line. That was so easy. That was easier than loading 35mm film, I think. Okay. What's next? There's a lot of leader on this on this type of film, the 120 film. Apparently, there's a lot of leader, paper leader. So to keep winding. Oh, what's coming up now? An arrow. A dot. Another dot. A bigger dot. An even bigger dot. Number one. So there we go, you can see that number one in the window. That means we're ready for shot number one. So now shut the ruby window, open the front when you need to, and you're ready to shoot. Thanks very much, bye bye.